Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Beta FPV Beta 85 Pro 2 Micro Brushless Whoop. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, show you how to fix the two issues that I've encountered and then head outdoors and test it out. Inside the box along with the quadcopter you can find an extra 25 degrees camera mount so if you'd like you can change the 35 degrees mount which is already assembled. In addition, you can also find a 300mAh 2S Beta FPV branded LiPo battery and you should note that no extra propellers are included. You can see that my propellers do not match since I've already lost one of them and I highly recommend to get extra propellers. Just like pretty much every other quadcopter by Beta FPV, the Beta 85 Pro 2 is available with multiple radio receiver options and you can also get a plug and play version and simply add your own receiver. My version is the FR Sky FCC version, so the ready receiver is built into the all-in-one flight controller. In terms of specs, the Beta 85 Pro 2 is using 1103 11,000 kV motors, which can handle up to 2S LiPo batteries. On top of them, we can find the Emax Avan 2 inch props, and by default, the motor layout is reversed. On the center of the quadcopter, under this pretty thin and fragile canopy, you can find the Beta FPV Z02 camera. It is placed inside the 35 degrees camera mount by default and it is connected to a VTX that supports 48 channels, features smart audio and has a selectable output strength of 25 and 200 milliwatts. Under the VTX you can find an F4 flat controller that features an integrated 5A VLLE ESC and also an integrated radio receiver in case you are getting the Futaba or the FR Sky versions. The flight controller is using the Matic F411 firmware and it came pre-flashed with Beta Flight 4. Now you should note that the VTX was pretty loose and I had to use a double sided tape in order to properly secure it and also I added this tape around the camera because I got tons of vibrations and adding this tape around it is going to make sure the camera is going to be properly secured. In addition, in case you are getting the FR Sky or the Futaba versions, the antenna of the radio receiver is going to be placed over here and I recommend that it's going to stick out of the canopy in order to extend the range. On the bottom of the quadcopter you can find an XT30 battery connector and I recommend to secure it using a zip tie to the frame so in case of a crash it's not going to be pulled from the flight controller. The battery is secured on the bottom using a battery velcro strap and it allows it to use multiple types of batteries. The weight of the Beta 85 Pro 2 is 42.5 grams without the battery and 60.4 grams including the included 300 mAh 2S LiPo battery. So that's pretty light for a 2 inch brushless whoop and this is the highlight of this quadcopter. As I mentioned before, the Beta 85 Pro 2 suffers from a couple of issues. First of all, the camera lens is not properly secured inside the canopy and this can be fixed by using this type of tape around the camera lens and now the lens is properly secured and it reduced the vibrations dramatically. The second issue that I encountered is that the propellers don't really like to stay on the motor and these propellers are not secured using screws to the motors. So what I've done in order to solve it is to use this super UV glue. What you need to do is to place a little bit on the motor shaft and also the top of the propeller and then let it cure using the UV light. So you can see now the propellers are properly secured whereas I can simply pull this propeller so you can see it's not very tight and I reported both issues to Beta FEV and hopefully they are going to be fixed on the next versions. The next thing I've done is to head outdoors and test the Beta 85 Pro 2 using different 2S LiPo batteries. Using 300mAh LiPo batteries I got around 2.5 minutes of flight time and using these 450 and 520mAh 2S GNB LiPo batteries I got close to 3 minutes. In terms of flight performance I can tell you that the Beta 85 Pro 2 pretty much delivers what it promises, it performs great and will enable you to do dives, rolls, flips and all sorts of acro maneuvers. 
In addition, I can tell you that I also crashed it a few times and this frame is pretty robust and I don't expect that it's going to break easily, especially because the Beta 85 Pro 2 is pretty light. So I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.